Jaguar Wright is addressing Tasha K, saying Storm Monroe would have got Jaguar Wright. Yes, it's Mal TV. Bringing you all these headlines, breaking stories, drama, cloud chasers, and everything trending in these streets. Now say it ain't so, but we already know it's so. Tasha K was saying that Storm Monroe said that if he had his way, he was going to pull up on Jaguar, right? I stopped bringing around my kids the moment he said he wanted to kill and was plotting to kill Jaguar, right? Amidst all the allegations of what's going on with Von Ray, who shot Von Ray, Tasha K is trying to frame Storm Monroe as a violent person. Now, Storm responded saying, so when did you ever not feel comfortable? I wasn't going to come and hurt you. What I said was is that if you find my house and break into my property, because remember you said you knew where I lived. Ah, hit the floor. Ooh, they told me where you live, Storm. I'm in Atlanta. Might want to get on the phone and call the police now. I'm here. I said I would invoke my Second Amendment right if you were to break into my house. I not only said that, I told the 911 operator that. That's not a secret. That's not something I'm gonna hide. I'm not gonna feel bad about saying that. that that's just what it was. I will defend myself by any means necessary when I have to. And that's just, and, and I pray I don't, I don't want to do that, but your threats against me was so bad. And uh, she went ahead and addressed when Chelsea Alana said, that Jaguar Wright called the police on her CPS and all to say that her kids were allegedly being uh, some things happening to them. She said and corrected that. She said, I said they were in danger. Uh, Jaguar Wright done had fucking CPS brought to Tasha. Jaguar Wright got on a live and lied to Tom Services. And lied to Tom Services saying that Tasha's child was being sexually molested. Never and said I that. Said in danger. Now, of course, Chelsea Alana wants to spin things around, but she was trying to say that, and her and Tasha were trying to say that Storm Monroe was like a violent person, but she couldn't believe that he would take it that far as to say he would kill somebody. Mm -hmm. The thing that got me about that was when that whole situation happened, Tasha K posted a tweet. She said, let me pull up that tweet as a matter of fact because we gotta get this right for y'all. She took to her Twitter in February of 2021. She said, if anybody shows up at my crib, I can't help what happens to you. Hashtag, we are in a redneck state. Right. Now I took that as, she was saying, we got license to carry around here, or if you pull up, I can't help what do to you. Now, <laughs> y'all can choose between y'all two, but I am gonna go ahead and say that it was she was saying they strapped, and if you pull up, we're gonna we're gonna uh, pull out. Them. Okay. Yeah, no, no, I remember that moment. The thing is, she's allowed to, but everybody else got different rules around here. Exactly, it's a lot of hypocritical things coming out of Chelsea and Tasha K's mouth mm -hmm. when it comes to Storm Monroe, especially. Well, whenever you're trying to, you know, brain fog somebody, this is what you do. Right, it's gaslighting. Absolutely. So I'm not surprised. You know, I'm, I'm not surprised reminder, either. Right? I'm glad Jaguar Wright is jumping in because her name keeps getting thrown around. Why not address it? Right. Yeah, with that being said, everybody's jumping up here and actually responding. It's a great week. It's a great week for receipts, y'all. Oh, I think this is just the beginning of Jaguar Wright jumping in. Yes, absolutely. You know, and Vaughn's uh, heading to his platforms too. He is going live on multiples, you guys. Pay attention. The proof is going to be in the pudding. This is part one. But, you know, he said he's going to come back with a part two as well. Now, pay attention. Also, you guys pay attention. Whenever he was given details about his alleged shooting, um, he did say that the guy was unfamiliar to him. He did not look familiar. Um, so he did not know him. First time seeing him. Now, he did not mention what the guy, you know, may have looked like. A description. Right. He did not say the kind of car the guy was driving. Nope. And he did not say how many cameras, you know, visions were pulled for this evidence. Good I guy. hope a few. Look, I'm thinking Dunkin' Donuts, the apartment complex, the driveway, the parking lot, the street. Look, the highway, on. you name the it. The lights, you know, the intersections. Come on, y'all. So the undercovers. You can't do nothing without, uh, you know, receipts. 
someone's gonna get busted in that whole situation. Now, I'm glad he confirmed our thoughts. Oh, yes. I was shot 26 times. Somebody tried to do something crazy to me. It was no, it was a normal day. Was nothing out of the ordinary. But when we like got on the street to my condo, I did notice that the door was like already up. And that's weird because the garage door, you kind of got to have a key file. I think we went through the other door because that door was already open. Or it just tweaked something in our mind to go the other way. I park in the same spot every time I go. A random car just pulled up. The guy didn't say, hey, bye. Let me get your wallet. Let me get, he didn't say nothing. He just got out the car and started shooting. And he was, his attention was directed to me. So it was kind of weird, hella weird. It seemed almost like somebody put out, put out a hit on me. He wasn't there to rob or take anything. He was there to kill me. And he thought his job was done and he left. Because this whole time, even before Vaughn got you know, shot, we knew someone was gonna get him. Something's gonna happen. He said he felt like he was in danger. Yes, I'm blessed and highly favored. I know God got me. Just keep it there, you know what I'm saying? I know I'll be fine, man. I ain't really tripping. Give it to God and hopefully he gonna do what he gonna do. That's why a lot of times when stuff happen, y'all, I don't even be tripping for real. I just be like, you know what? Maybe I was supposed to go through this so I can know the next time what not and what to do. Cause people really be out here trying to, you know, kill you out here. And then just plus, Tasha K's employee said she was gonna get him Nigga, you ain't gonna put me in nothing because I ain't never signed nothing with you or Tasha. I ain't signed nothing with you either. I ain't signed nothing with you either. I ain't gonna be paying you nothing. I'm not gonna be paying you nothing. Y'all always try to lie. What you gonna say? I put my hands on you now so you can try to get me locked up too? Boy, stop. But you see him making threats like, oh, you'll do worse, all right? Yeah, I will. Okay. Right? I don't play with my crap. I don't play with my credit, I don't play with my money. I didn't want my personal information and my personal life on the internet. Going back and forth about who did what, who lied about what, that I, I don't care about. It was like the, the sexual exploitation, the sexual harassment online. What would make you, what would make you do something like that as a man? A front, you do something like this and then think that I'm just gonna be like, okay. What would make you think something like this? I was kind of looking at the way that Chelsea uh, has been seen on her live, right? I was watching and there's just little things that she says that is actually giving us detail of how this is all falling out, skit or not. It's the things that come out of her mouth that just give, um, it just, it's giving, right? It's very, very giving. So anyway, I was thinking about that whole Jennifer Lopez skit that she stated that, you know, uh, this was, you know, thought out and the whole Jennifer Lopez and I said, girl, it was a well thought out, some Jennifer Lopez, enough is enough type shit. Girl. Oh girl. Cause you know, if we remember that movie, Jennifer Lopez did get justice at the end. So I want to hear your thoughts and theories in the comment section below. Cause y'all know I can go all over the place. Smell TV. Bring you all latest headlines, breaking stories, drama, cloud chasers, and everything trending in these streets. Be here for the next one. Let's go ahead and hit subscribe and turn on your notifications. But hey, even if you don't, you'll be here for the next ones. We out. Bye.